Hey guys, it's Josh here with On the Wrong Lead, and uh, we're going to be talking about pace today. This is one of the uh, one of the videos that I know we did get requested a little bit. Um, it's one of the uh, what I call the four building blocks of uh, of handicapping. Uh, so we're just going to kind of jump right into it. Uh, so here we go, Horse Player 101, pace. Pace makes the race. Um, so what is pace? Uh, pace answers the question. What will the shape of the race be? So, are are you like, will the ho which horses are going to be on the lead? Which horses will be coming from the back? Uh, are the horses going to be running fast or slow early? Um, like, kind of, how is the race going to play out at different points of the race? Right. Um, as you see here, I, I did copy a nice picture here. Uh, this was from um, Friday Pimlico, uh, the Black Eyed Susan. And um, this is uh, the Brisnet race summary. Uh, I know Caleb likes to say that uh, he thinks sometimes this is the only thing I look at. Uh, and that's n no longer the truth because uh, I actually use time form uh, quite a bit now. But he w like this is literally the first thing I look at when I'm trying to figure out the pace of the race. Right? You got the horse's name. You got their number. You got their odds. And then the days since last race... And then you got their run style and, and speed points there. And that kind of helps give you an idea of what the shape of the race will be. Um, so what are what is a run style? What, what are these points? What you know, what's going on here? Uh, so run styles. Uh, we'll take a look at the horse number six here, Ice Latte. Um, if you look here, it has a run style of E and has six speed points. It's an E6 horse. Um and what that means is E, to need the lead or leader. Um, it's a horse that's going to want to be on the lead or be, you know, literally within a half length of the leader. And that's where this horse does its best running and that's where this horse wants to be. Um, the speed points, that six, <clears throat> tells you how much early speed does this horse show. So, for example, E8. So, the speed points go from zero to eight. An E8 type horse is a horse that's going to the lead and has constantly gone to the lead. Eight is the most points you can have. Um, generally, uh, and this is, like I said, this is just from my experience, um, if you see a lot of six, seven, and eights, that's when you kind of start to figure out, hey, this pace might be fast. Um, this might be a hot pace. And, and we'll kind of talk about that a little bit later. Um all right, so the next run style, if we look at the favorite in this race, the 10 Beautiful Gift, um, EP8, right? So it's a versatile horse. It's forwardly placed but doesn't need the lead. So this is a horse that's probably one, either on the lead or slightly off the lead. Um, and it's also got an eight. So this horse has shown that, hey, it's going to be within a length or two of the leader 99% of the time. Um, P. Uh, like the horse, a willful woman or the grass is blue sits within a few lengths of the lead, right? It's probably going to be like one, like two lengths, one length, you know, behind it's what's called a pressing run style, a presser. Um, so not necessarily a deep closer, you know, wants to keep up with these leaders, uh, but isn't going to try and get the lead. Occasionally you'll get a race where there are no real true leaders and maybe this type of horse gets the lead, but Generally, this type of horse is going to want to sit a couple lengths, you know, behind. Um, then you have S, which is your sustained run style, your closer. Uh, or I also put plotter on here. Um, and, and the reason I put that is, you know, sometimes like like the seven Miss Leslie here has got an S. It's probably an S zero, which means this horse has shown no early speed, is content to just let all the other horses go through, um, because. Uh, one important thing about the S style is sometimes you'll see it and you'll be like, oh, this horse is going to run late. It's going to close. It's like not necessarily this horse could just be extremely bad and just passes a, the occasional tired horse. So, you know, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that this horse has got like some like a great turn of foot and is going to just like close in. But you know, it, it's just going to tell you, hey, this horse doesn't want any kind of lead, is just going to sit 
and just just do its thing. Um, there's also NA will come up, especially um, with young horses or horses that are just like all over the place. You'll see NA, which just means like, hey, we we couldn't designate a run style for this. So, how do you read a pace scenario? Talked about it briefly, right? Uh, if you look at the speed points and the run styles, if you see a bunch of E type horses with six, seven, eight. Generally, that means the horse is going, there, there's going to be a real fast pace. And maybe that's a time you kind of look and, and try and find horses that are going to be coming from a little bit further behind or, you know, a little bit, you know, closer up. Or um, not closer up, but maybe start fading some of the horses that are going to be real close up. On the opposite side, if you see only one E type horse in a race and all the rest are P's and S's, well, that horse might get loose. That horse might get to the lead and just keep running, and no one, no one will catch him. Um, this is something that we call like an extreme pace scenario. Uh, you know, lone speed. You'll hear us talk about that quite often, where maybe a horse is the only E type horse, has got a lot of, you know, got a, a few decent speed points. It's just going to get out to the lead, and no one's going to press it, and the horse is just going to get brave and go. Um, a little bit more rare is a lone closer, where maybe you see just a bunch of speed horses, or you see a bunch of E, P, and E type horses, and you have one horse, one S type horse or P type horse, and the horse has shown, hey, he's won before, you know, closing in, or he or she has won before closing in, and you get the opposite, right? You get all these horses kind of vying vying for position, and you get this one horse who's just content to sit in the back and is going to get the easiest trip, just kind of you know tip out and just close into everybody. So we call those extreme pace scenarios or things to look out for. Um, and uh, I think we have other videos you can see us where, where we talk about finding loan speed or, or how to 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 view different pace scenarios, but. You know, that, that's just kind of like, uh, you know, we're trying to keep these to 10 minutes. So that's just kind of like a brief, uh, you know, a brief explanation of that. Um, I did want to touch on a couple other pace tools. Um, so I, I know if you guys have been watching the stream, you know, you guys know that we, we show Brisnets. Most of us are Brisnet players. Um, but, uh, you know, I use Timeform, you know, pretty heavily now. Um, they have a pace projector. And uh, as you can see here... You know, it shows, it tells you, hey, this is, these are both from the same race that we saw with that, um, that, uh, Black Eyed Susan. So that we had the Brisnet race summary on there. So if you want to go back and kind of compare, you can. Um, but yeah, fast pace, right? So this is telling you, hey, there's a lot of speed. Maybe you're like, just to kind of keep it in your head, maybe you want to look at a couple of, you know, of horses kind of coming a little bit off the pace. Uh, if you guys saw this race, you'll notice the one uh, army wife is right here, you know, and that would kind of fit like, hey, maybe this three, six and nine, they're going to kind of be compromised because they're going to all go for the lead. And hey, maybe these this one, you know, any of these other horses that are kind of sitting a little further back, they might, um, uh, they might get the right trip. And, and, and just don't, don't fall into the trap where you see something like fast pace or you think it's going to be a fast pace and assume it's going to be the horse that's all the way in the back that's going to make the move. That, does, that doesn't mean it's going to be the horse all the way from the back. Most likely, it's going to be that horse that gets the first run on all those tiring horses. It's going to be in that second pack. So if you see you know a fast pace, start looking for those EP or P type horses that maybe seem like they're going to be a little bit further back. You know, like something like the one... like. And I'm I like trying to remember who like finished in second and third, but like maybe like the one, the ten, the four, the five, and the seven, you know, maybe even the two kind of coming coming from a little bit further back. Now, mind you, this is just the pace projector. If you look at time form, uh, we do have a um, a video up from uh, our good friend Greg, uh, kind of walking through how to read time form. Time form's got a lot of great stuff like pace figures and things like that. Take a look at those. Um, and then uh, there's optics. So uh, optics down here, um, you know, we call them the squares and circles sometimes. Um, I know uh, Emily out there, Emily, I think she's like at Emily Optics EQ. Uh, she actually has like a blog on Brisnet site. She'll she'll post stuff all the time on reading this stuff. Um, it 
it can be a little daunting. It can be a little ridiculous. You might think it's a little ridiculous because you see the circles and squares. And you're like, what does this mean? Um, but this is just like a visual tool to help you see what you think a pace, the pace is going to be, right? Um, I, I'll give you like the quick, you know, 30 second breakdown on how to do this, right? Uh, to the left on the grid over here, where it says factor velocity zero uh, on the left side, that is like first call. And then at top is second call, right? Circle, the bigger the circle, the the less late pace the horse has, the bigger the square, the more late pace the, the, the horse has. Um, and the way I kind of use this is if I see, if I look at this and I see like, hey, most of the horses are in quadrant like one, which is up here, or quadrant three, I mean, that might set up for one of the other horses because the ho other horses are going to be sitting a little bit further back. So maybe you start looking for horses that have big squares, which is big late pace, and they're kind of sitting sitting in the back. Likewise, if you see a square in quadrant one that's by itself and everyone else is kind of sitting near the middle or further back, that horse is probably going to get loose, get brave, and going to be gone. Um now, like I'm telling you, this is just completely surface level. If you are interested in learning more about optics, go to the optics site. There are tons of YouTube videos and um, YouTube videos, tutorials, all kinds of stuff. Like leverage that because, like me telling talking to you about like for 30 seconds about this is not doing this product justice. A lot of our um, a lot of our friends and us included, we, we love using optics. Um, this is just a, like a PDF printout you can get from like Brisnet. Um, if you, uh, if you use, uh, like t twin spires, you can buy these. Um, they also have a website that's interactive, just like, like time form. Um, and that's the preferred way. Like if you're going to, to buy either time form or optics, um, I suggest you use the website. Um, cause those tools are a little bit, a little bit better, a little bit more interactive. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of like, it looks like I went 12 minutes, but that's kind of like the, the overview of, you know, kind of what, what pace is, um, you know, we will probably do some more deeper dives into this kind of stuff. Um, you know, we, we just kind of want to get, uh, beginner videos out there, you know, get a nice course that, Hey, if you've got friends that want to learn how to play the horses, be like, Hey, Here's like an hour worth of YouTube videos. Watch this. This will give you a good like base foundation. So I know this was like super high level, but if you guys got any comments, go ahead. Please put, post them in the video uh, in the comments below. Uh, hit us up on um, Twitter. Uh, I'm at Cherry Drank or at, at wrong underscore lead uh, is our group Twitter. So um, until next time, we will talk to you later.